Well friends, today we're going to change out a backflow that got broke and it doesn't have a uh, union on it so we're going to have to cut the pipe and put on a, a union so we can replace it. So here's what we got. Alright, we have a broken backflow and I was just going to change out the internal parts but after a closer inspection it's got a, a cracked ball valve and then um, this one's leaking too so by the time time you change it out it's cheaper just to put on a new one and then you have to deal with any other little issues it's like this one's been leaking too it's got some calcium buildup so we're going to cut this pipe right here uh, so we can unthread all this stuff and take it off and then put a union on it and then we'll put the backflow on the new backflow right there so we got a pipe cutter, I'll just put that on there, gently uh, make sure it's tight, and then we're going to give it a, a twirl, uh, I might have to get my other one, it's for tighter spaces, let's see, okay, so I got my, my small pipe cutter for tight spaces, so uh, they're just a little harder to cut the pipe with, but they still work. It's all cut. Okay. All right, so we got some abrasive cloth. We'll just clean up that uh, clean up that pipe. Just stir off a little bit. Get the shank. And then uh, it's gonna sh rough up on the inside. Just take a little piece, stick it in there. And then I uh, got my flux. Put some on there. Put on the pipe. Oops. This one. And I'm gonna uh, actually take this off and I'm gonna put it on like that. So just take that off, put that on there. So uh, rule of thumb here is I'm gonna use uh, one inch of solder. So right about there, but I'll probably use more because I'm not really that good at soldering. I think I've said that before in my other videos. So here we go. Keep the other side, and then I'll touch it on this side so the heat goes from this side all the way around, and you know it's good. Some of these big ones are kind of help it out. You can see it's changing color. At that point, it's probably about ready. Not pretty, but you got in there. So we're gonna do the same thing on this one. Cover the whole thing. 360. And then I got my part uh, here, the rest of my union.
And with the Union, you got to be careful not to get any solder on this. Uh, this is kind of like part what joins up with the other side of the Union. So very, very important. Then we got Teflon tape. Um, we're gonna wrap that uh, clockwise, same way the the um, piece is gonna be threaded on there. Do like five, six times. My metal to metal fittings. I like to put Teflon tape and pipe dope. Just insurance. We'll do this one. Make sure it's cooled off. It's kind of hot. Yeah, so I just threw it on some uh, Teflon tape, and then uh, it's still hot. I should probably pour some water on it, but it's being lazy. It should be pretty easy. Just thread this on. And go. I just need to line all this stuff up. Let's open these up because it's winter time. <laughs> Alright, so we got it all installed. It's the middle of winter, so. We'll, um, we'll just check this in the spring when we turn it on and we'll do our full system check, but there you go, brand new one with a union. Happy, happy. So your final step is after you repair it and or replace your backflow, you're going to have to have it backflow tested. Um, not every place does this. Most states or municipalities or counties require you to test your backflow after it gets pretty much any time you touch it so um, where i'm at you don't have to do that so just a just a reminder for everyone else all right have a great day